Two teams among the best in the state and undefeated in conference play. We start the new year with a great signature matchup between the Snyder and Northrop girls teams. Snyder, though, in complete control throughout the first half, up big as we pick things up in the third. Northrop trying to fight back. Kayla Williams-Thomas going through contact to score. She'll lead the Bruins with 17. But still, the Panthers maintain their big lead. Janaea Donahue, tough move here. She gets the bucket and she'll finish her night with 16. And then after a miss inside, Sierra Sims on the offensive glass, scores on the follow, counting the bucket in the foul. Sims with 17 and the Panthers make a big statement with a 70 to 37 victory. We just played hard. We've been wanting, we've been wanting to play them, looking forward to playing them since the beginning of the season. And we knew if we came out with more energy than them, we'll put more time. Snyder trying to make it a clean sweep. The Panthers off to a good start in the boys game. Bruins looking to Dallas Lawrence on the mid-range jumper. He knocks it down. Lawrence with nine points, eight boards. Low scoring game, but Snyder gets a good jolt from Quaylen Clopton. Knocks down that three in the second quarter. And a bit later, Troll Hogue follows his own miss. And he dishes this one to Clopton. He floats it in. Clopton with 22 and a successful night for the Panthers. The boys win two by a 47-33 final. Now, it remains to be seen whether the re reigning SAC champion Wayne Generals can repeat. If anyone can challenge them, maybe it's Northside. The Legends have been a team to watch, and they look good early on in this measuring stick game. The big guy with the soft touch, Jordan King here, backs in with a sweet hook shot from size to size. Now, Wayne's Javon Lewis Jr., the blur to the basket. Lewis in total control tonight. A game high 26 points, 10 assists. Now to a guy who sometimes gets lost in the shuffle on this loaded general squad. H.J. Dillard, strong inside for a couple first quarter basket, baskets. Hustle points huge for Wayne in this one as Quaylen Miles boards and scores two more. Tied at half, the generals explode from there. 66 to 42. The Wayne girls finding similar success earlier in the night against Northside. Freshman Daviana Irons spots up. That's a promising young player for the Generals. Wayne extending its lead after half. Senior Khalees Collins open inside. The Legends down 15. Jelia Page just plows through for the hard-earned two. But it's Wayne's night. Tanny Hairston off the inbound and a 64-46 Generals victory. The fans at Bishop Dwenger fired up to watch the St. Boys team face Carroll. We begin with the baseline drive for Harrison Parent. Easy bucket inside to cut into the Charger lead. Now it's Carroll with it. Strong take from Jair Sampson. He draws the whistle and drops it in for the N1. Saints keep fighting though. This time Brady O'Keefe coming away with the steal. He sends this one ahead to Eddie Miller and the sophomore able to bounce off a body to score count the bucket and the foul. Carroll leads at the half, but the Saints take over after that. They win 73-64. Earlier in the night, the Saints in a close girls game against Carroll. Chargers looking to Lily George. Jumper from the free throw line and she knocks it down. George with 18 tonight. The Saints get a lot of production from the Ecky sisters, Giselle Knocking down this elbow jumper. She'll put up nine tonight. And then it's the freshman Izzy with a score coming up up close. She leads Dwayne with 16, and the Saints beat the Chargers 60 to 55. Eight and one, Bishop Lure is finding itself in a battle against Concordia. The Cadets down just two after intermission. Crisp passing to the corner here as Cole Hayworth connects for three and the lead. Lures lashes back as Isaac Zay. Finders fires corner pocket as well. Back and forth we go. And this off the Max Adair theft. Sam Eggold attacks the rack and scores despite the contact. And just when Concordia looks to take control, Darion Truesdale picks up the pressure, the swipe, and the score as the Knights avoid the scare to win it 59 to 48. The Knights in position to sweep the night as the girls Kendall Tyree spins inside for the early score. Then off the break, Reese Roadhamel rocks a shot from way back and splash. Concordia needing a response. Sophomore Adriana Rogers claps back off the runner. But just a few seconds later, Addie Shank and the Knights storm on back. Shank capitalizing 
off the end one opportunity as Bishop Lures wins big 53 to 33.